Okay, hi everyone, this is Diva Divas here. I'm Mish and this is Terry. We're here with Sir Javelin tonight. Oh, how are you? We're good. Okay, so let's start our interview right now. Okay, so um, how does it feel like to be back to Taiwan again? It's amazing, actually. When I was here in the last few times, it was so great and it's amazing to be back. And I can't wait to party tonight. Okay, we know that you arrived. You know that you arrived a little bit earlier, so did you get time to explore the area or try anything good? Actually, finally, it was the first time. The last three times was just in and out, and this time we said, okay, we're coming back to Taiwan and we have to stay here for a while. And we walked down like the whole city, and it was just great. Okay. Yeah, finally, we some time off here. Very lucky. Yep. Okay, so a lot of your songs like Booty Bounce, Drop It Low has really become like a party anthem wow. for everyone around the world. Yep. And we're actually particularly curious about the music video of Booty Bounce. So can you tell us a little bit about like the making and the idea behind this video? <laughs> well, honestly, it was just, um, since it was Booty Bounce, yeah. we said like, okay, we're gonna have something with booty, of course. And then we sat down with the whole team and we were like discussing about what should we do for the video. And then we just decided, okay, it's booty bounce, let's do booty bounce. And we did it. Okay, that's, yeah, that's basically it. So in the end, we get fun. like all the bouncing booty. <laughs> exactly, yeah, we got so many videos and we were like, okay, we have to do it. Yeah. We were laughing and we had fun, so we just, yeah. we just did it. Yeah, and people reacted really well to the video too. Yeah, some people said like, oh, it's a porn, but of course it's not. I mean, it's just fun, yeah. so it was great. Okay. So you've been to Taiwan for a few times and you also know that you finished like a massive tour in China. Yes. So right. like how do you see like the change in the EDM scene over the years? Asian countries mm -hmm. compared to like, like the Western world. Well, actually when I was here for the first time in Asia, it was so different to now. I think it was around three years ago or two and a half years ago. And when I was here, it was like I played like really commercial and they were like oh I don't know this song I know that I don't know that song but now when I came back like frequently it got better and better every time so I'm excited what happens tonight <laughs> so yeah and China was great for example and it's just getting better every time very excited too yeah cool I think the crowd's gonna go crazy I hope yeah <laughs> I hope okay so um you've made a lot of remixes <laughs> Um, do you have like a personal favorite and do you have new stuff coming out? Uh, actually one of my favorite remixes would be the one from Jack U. Mm -hmm. uh, I remix Jack U. And that was just a great honor because I'm a big fan of Relax and Diplo. And then when they asked me like, hey, do you want to remix? That meant to me, like, they like my music. And that was just great. And I had so much fun doing it. And that one was really cool. That's special to me. Uh, and I actually got a new one. I just remixed David Guetta's new yes. single, Like My Body Up. And this one is coming out this Friday. So wow. that's exciting as well. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. I just got the new, yeah, yeah, I just got the news today that it's going to be released on Friday. It's really fun. Wow. I just played it once, so this is the second, second time. Second time. Wow, yeah. what an honor. <laughs> cool. Okay, so um, there are also a lot of different types of new music coming up mm -hmm. on the scene. Mm -hmm. So do you think you're going to try like any of the new genres in the future? I actually just did because, I mean, of course I like what I'm doing and I like what I did in the past, but it was kind of similar the whole time. Yeah. And I got some people asking me like, man, I would be excited to hear something different from you. Not that I don't like it anymore or that, that they are bored, but they just were like, if pajama would be another genre, how would it sound? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's like a question I always wondered. And I was like, okay, I gotta try it. And I, I'm such, I love producing and I love being in the studio. So I spent like a couple of weeks actually, it took me like a long time because it's so different. And I produced like a really, like a way slower song. And that's coming out on Universal, so it's a big deal, and it's coming out uh, in the middle of May. So wow. yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's like a big step for me. Okay. The only two weeks away. You can really look yeah, forward yeah, to exactly. that now. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. Okay, 
So right now there are a lot more and more like DJs and producers mm -hmm. are jumping into the industry yes. and how do you think about that and do you have any suggestions for these young artists? Um, that's a question I get asked a lot. Um, I would say like just try to be original. Don't copy hardware because hardware is existing already. Don't copy, I don't know, DJ Snake because there is already a DJ Snake. Try to do something new. And if you find something new, it's not going to be easy because there's already a lot of music outside. But once you find something new, something fresh, people are going to be hungry and people want it. And that's, that's a way to grow up, I would say. So try to be unique, try to do something new. But not all done before. Okay. So just to wrap up the whole thing, do you have anything to say to your friends in Taiwan? Oh yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. I don't see the camera because it's so bad. I think so. <laughs> thank you guys so much for always supporting me and it's always great to be here and I can't wait to be back. And tonight we're going to have a party. Trust me. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much for the thank interview. You thank you so much. It was really cool. Thank you. <laughs>